Hey and welcome. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint navigation in your client presentations. So PowerPoint navigation um, is something that you can very simply just add link buttons within your presentations and let people browse through it themselves. So you can use this kind of navigation to create interactive presentations, uh, kiosk presentations, directories, and a lot more. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, to create your own interactive presentation for your clients. So, for an example scenario here, I'm assuming you are a retirement planner and you're wanting to create a presentation to show your clients their retirement savings options. Now, keep in mind the basics of this approach can be used for any sales presentation. This could be done if you were selling uh, new cars. It could be done if you were selling office equipment. It could be done if you were selling uh, multi-million dollar yachts. It wouldn't matter what it is. You know, it, all, all these techniques will work. So in this case, we're going to show how a retirement planner might do this. So here's the tools we use. We use PowerPoint, of course, to be able to create this because, of course, the topic here is how to do this in PowerPoint. Then we use an Excel spreadsheet to do the financial calculations because PowerPoint itself can't really do the calculations natively. And then we used our data point uh, tool, which is a PowerPoint add-on that connects the PowerPoint to Microsoft Excel. So the steps we used were step one was we created a spreadsheet for the calculations. Then we created the presentation in PowerPoint. Then we used data point to connect the charts and text boxes to the relevant data in the spreadsheet. And then we added navigation using shapes in PowerPoint. So I'm just going to move to the Excel spreadsheet here. And as you can see, it's just a basic Excel spreadsheet. I put in the, the person's existing retirement savings, uh, and then this formula would automatically calculate what, what it would become in future, uh, you know, how much growth there would be from their, their RS, monthly RSP deposits, what's their expected annual work pension when they retire, uh, you know, and, and et cetera. And then what I put in was, you know, how much they were hoping, needing, and then whether there was a surplus or a shortfall, how many, what their monthly co RSP contributions are, what their expected rate of return, how many years to retirement, current household income, and required household income at retirement. So these are all inputs. So the, I, I love to just create the first couple of columns for inputs, and then I go ahead and do the calculations after that. And that lets me easily change the inputs later on. So back to the presentation. So then I set up a very simple navigation screen, and, and these are really just uh, simple you know, links that you can link anywhere within it. So if I click here, it will take me to the current snapshot. If I click here, it will take me to being able to retire. If you wanted to retire at 65, it will show them, here's how much you'll have, and you've got a surplus of $4,176 a year over uh, whether you wanted to uh, you know, over the household income you wanted to have at retirement. There's the current financial snapshot. And again, if we go back to the simple navigation screen again, if you want to jump to, well, what if I retire early? Then at age 60, here's how much you'd have at retirement. So you'd end up with a, sh a shortfall of $8,767. So as you can see, the navigation here really just jumps you through the slides, but allows people to browse through the way they want and answer the questions the way they want. So it lets them skip slides that may not be relevant to them. It lets them skip forward to see what's, you know, um, to jump exactly to what they're looking for. So with this PowerPoint presentation, I'm just going to come out of here for a moment. All of these boxes where the numbers are, as you see here, are text boxes. And these text boxes are connected using data point and the list command to connect to the Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see, when I click on a text box, it will show me, um, you know, I can choose which column I want to take, take that information from. The list here shows you know all the different connections I can make and in this case I've created a link to the retirement planning worksheet and then it shows my inputs and you can see again it shows the columns and the inputs and all the information in the spreadsheets there so I really just have to link 
any of these particular text boxes to the calculation there. So the spreadsheet becomes my calculator, uh, you know, and all this information will, will be updated automatically. Now, making changes on the fly, so you can easily open that spreadsheet on a separate laptop or tablet and change the inputs. So if you were to say, okay, well, what if you could pay $300 a month in RSP contributions, people could enter that and it will automatically update on the PowerPoint as well. Or if they found out that, uh, you know, that their annual work pension would be higher, they can do that in. Or what if they wanted to retire at age 55 and you could have it run those calculations as well as long as you set it up for it. So the great thing here is with a separate tablet, you can start putting in the inputs that the client needs and their presentation is going to update automatically. So to create the buttons, I just, um, you know, you can create the buttons using uh, to link any image or text. So in this case, I had used text and I had just linked it to the slides. So when you choose insert hyperlink, you can see it, you can choose a place in the document or a file or web page or an email address. In this case, I just chose which of the slides I wanted it to go to. And you just right, right click and choose which, you know, which link, uh, which slide you want to link to. For buttons, you can just go up to your shapes in PowerPoint and choose action buttons and then you can insert them and then a button will show up. And then you can link the button once again by, you know, right clicking it and choosing what happens on a mouse click, you know, click, do you want to hyperlink to the next slide or which slide you want, you can pull down that menu. You can also use much prettier outside navigation buttons. Uh, you can just go to stock photo websites, download some cool buttons and then they can make your your presentation look a, look a lot brighter or, or a lot more professional than just using the, the action buttons. If you need more help uh, with this or with any other way of getting data-driven presentations, please contact us at presentationpoint.com.